today I want to talk about a topic I have not talked about for about 40 months a year because the topic I am referring to is hacking in cheating in Hell Let Loose. And the reason I have not talked about this topic anymore is because uh, it, it depresses me. It doesn't make me want to play uh, Hell Let Loose. But, um, you know, aimbot hacking and cheating is not just in Hell Let Loose. It's PUBG. It is basically any shooter you play. Uh, online caught whatever shooter it is there's gonna be a percentage of players that is cheating and it is ruining the whole gaming first person shooter genre and it really is because it's getting worse and worse and then i hop onto the hell let loot steam forums and i see topics like this daily and this guy, City, he writes, flooded with aimboarders. I tried to play on four different servers. It was not possible to come into the game because you got hit everywhere before you were able to see an enemy. It had its time, but now it's getting crap. And then this guy, flaming that, he writes, uh, I have only seen ever seen one cheater. Well, that's just it, right? Um, you don't get to see the cheaters because you know if you saw a cheaters then the cheat software would be really bad and i, I will show you some cheat software flaming that don't, don't you worry about that buddy because uh, as you all know i i really hate cheating and i really love exposing cheats but the cheat software is getting to the point that is almost impossible to tell the difference between a skilled player or a cheater it really is that good and then this prox guy said i think it's a little bit exaggerated because he shows a video about somebody looking around the corner like that is the answer to everything so this is the footage that was sent to me by a viewer of my channel and he said wiki take a look at this because uh, i've seen your videos but this is on a, on a whole new level uh, your last videos about 12 months ago showed very sophisticated cheats but in 12 months time they really really went to the next level and uh, i gotta admit i've i've seen this video once because i needed to see it uh, in case there was some advertisement in it and there was on the top right so i blocked that out and uh well let's watch this video together and then uh, we we'll see what we will see and uh I gotta say one thing for all the people who say I've only seen one cheater. Well, this is the reason you don't see them because uh, they're, they're hard to detect. It's no longer like, oh, look at them speed hack or look at them uh, just aimbotting blatantly or one shotting all the time because they have a choice now. Do I have a one shot head kill or do I hit the body or do I hit his leg? They can even select where the bullets are gonna hit, but you will see that all in a second. Let's just uh, start this video and see what we can detect. So first of all, there is this nice menu on the top right and uh, I've zoomed it in for you so we can actually see what is going on. This aimbot even has a built-in warning system. Yes, so it says on top, warning system is aiming at you at the angle. So if an enemy is aiming at this player and the, the degrees are 15%, the aimbot automatically goes for the biggest threat. So that means that the player doesn't do anything. The bot just warns him. And you can see the angle that the enemy is playing at at 50 degrees and the max distance is 700 meters. He can even have a beep to warn him and a max distance of the beep of 700 meters now bef i gotta say i had to remove the audio of this video because there was some god awful music playing on the background and i was scared of being copyright striked but this is how sophisticated these aimbot hack systems are now they even have a warning system built into them when people are aiming towards you or try to aim at wash you so now we have the standard thing right your crosshairs do you want crosshairs the size the draw fps the draw resolution the draw time the draw water mag draw health bar use the panic key which is a panic key is basically when um 
these people don't use aimbot all the time. They just press a simple key and then the aimbot kicks in, right? And that is basically it. But now the the really nasty thing. So he has no recoil, no bullet spread and no sway. That means that every bullet is a hit no matter what because he just turns this off. And I have to say guys, um, I've seen the full footage of this and it was a game long so 130 minutes and he just played the whole game for 130 minutes and if easy anti-cheat doesn't get him banned in in one and a half hours time then he will never get banned at all will he will he so easy anti-cheat and i keep saying that it's just absolute rubbish depending on which package is being rented from easy anti-cheat uh, it, it's just rubbish if this person can cheat for one and a half hours then he's never gonna get banned is it and this is not an endorsement of these cheats because he downloaded this cheat software he probably downloaded a trojan virus that is now stealing his credit card information and all his personal data from his computer because that is the flip side as well of dealing with these cheat makers, right? They, they cannot be trusted. They're somewhere in Russia, they're somewhere in China, they're somewhere using, uh, you know, different IPs to let you think they're in America, but they're not, ne they never are. These guys are in Indonesia. You, you would be surprised how many cheats come from uh, countries you would not even suspect they would come from. But, you know, let's, let's keep on topic now. Let's just watch this cheat. So here we go. Um, so he has, uh, this is another feature now, this has a 2D and a 3D radar and it will show friendly invisible and friendly visible, meaning if he is behind cover, he will be uh, a different color than he is when he's out in the open and he can just be shot. This will become all too clear when we go and watch the rest of the video but uh, yeah this is how sophisticated these cheats are they have whole menus that you can actually just so many options look at all these options he has the tree kicker the aim key the num key so these are also two different keys right he's using aimbot but he, it's not like he presses one key and the aimbot jumps to its target and shoots no he's got two keys so he's got multiple options. He presses, for example, the F5 key and the aimbot automatically locks onto something. And then he presses a second key to actually shoot. So it isn't like he's snapshotting people anymore. It doesn't look like he actually snapshots people. And snapshotting is just locking onto somebody, turning 45 degrees, lock, locking onto somebody and immediately shooting. He can even select, again, he can even select if it's a headshot, a chest shot, a groin shot a, a, a knee shot and a, a foot shot so it's not even like these aimbots constantly headshot you anymore and it's nothing like that anymore guys it this is way more natural but uh, let, let's watch the footage and before we go uh, i want to say if you look in the middle of the screen where his crosshair is that is now a radar all these little red dots are enemies so he has a 3d view and a 2d view of all the enemies and of course he has got the boxes around everybody and he can see see this is a german a german a us a german a german a us and a german and again a us and um well, let's just look, look at his radar. So now he sees it changes color, right? These are all in cover. And as soon as they turn orange, they're out in the open and he can shoot them. This guy, that guy, that guy. And these guys are all in cover. They think, hmm, okay, boom, orange. He can shoot them. And again, boom, orange. Immediately, it, no chance. Before you can react, the bot already has you on it. You know, look how in the distance, look at that. He doesn't even see them. It's that far. It is absolutely crazy how that goes. And I now notice that he doesn't even have the heck for the supply drop or anything. Because I didn't see. Maybe that. Oh, that was friendly supply drop. Look at this, guys. He actually is aimbotting the bazooka. Look at that. Look. He shoots. He sees the missile. He's tracking the missile in the air and slap right on the target that is that is really 
really unbelievable that is absolutely unbelievable and people do this and when you're on the enemy team and you think yeah that, that, that was just that was just luck it, he was just a lucky player and a lucky shot right because you, you don't think about it and of course it can happen and that is the problem right that is the whole problem with these hacks that are so natural they are so this is such a difference with only 12 months ago because th this is what lulls or fools people into believing, oh, this is really a skilled player. He, oh, that was a one in a million shot, but, but it really wasn't. The only thing that now betrays these kind of cheaters is when they have a 99% hit rate. And these guys are not dumb. They're not using the speed hacks anymore. Uh, w when you rent these cheats, these devs, these cheat making devs tell you, listen, we, we included the speed hack please don't use it. You're going to get caught easily by anyone watching you, right? Don't be foolish. Don't make every shot a kill shot. Miss a few times so the statistics, you know, you, you don't get noticed too much. If you have a smart player, you know, it's not going to work. And look at this. Now I noticed it. He even sees which kind of weapon you're holding. So this guy is holding a Thompson. This guy is holding a knife. This guy is holding a Garand. Um, this guy is the bazooka guy. This is holding a carbine. Like that, that is, that is like next level, right? That, that just, now my mind is blown as well, right? I've seen a lot of these hacks and you can still see the red dots of the 2D radar, right? He, so this player is this red dot, that player is that red dot, this, you know what I mean? Look, he can actually, actually see them. But um, let's continue. This shot, like, he just aims, he just aims, the aimbot just determines, like, now you need to be at that angle, and boom, like, <laughs> that's, that's just, what can he say? That's just god awful. That is just awful. And again, he's not even aiming, right? He's not even now. Now he's aiming, but wh why is he doing that? He can, he can might as well just not even aim over the sights. But it's all, all to keep up appearances, right? And again, look at the radar, the red dots. Now he's got the sniper rifle, but uh, yeah, look, you don't even see them. Look, you don't even see the enemy. It's all aimbot one-shotting people. And nobody is surprised, right? You think like, ah, it's just a lucky shot again. It's ah, it's just, just a lucky shot. Like, nah. Boom. Boom, lucky shot. Boom, lucky shot number two. Boom, lucky shot number three. Boom, lucky shot number four. And again, you see the weapons, you see their health bars under the under the little square, right? Boom. Uh, that is that is just awful, awful. And it's not like Team Seventeen is uh, is doing anything about it that we can see. And this is the next problem I have with all of this, and that is uh, why doesn't Team Seventeen do something like uh, PUBG? And I, I will show you right now. So a lot of people are saying there is no cheating in Hell Let Loose and this and that and. But it's just not true, is it? You, you just saw the footage. It's just not true. It's just, it became so good that you don't notice it. And like this guy said, I only seen one cheater. Yeah, yeah, but you're not supposed to see it. What does it look like? Yeah, when you see somebody speed hacking and running past you at four times the speed, that is when you really notice it, right? But when you get headshotted, out of nowhere you just think oh he was behind me oh he was on a roof oh it was just a lucky shot but the problem i have with that is why does team 17 don't do doesn't do what PUBG Battlegrounds is doing. And this is what they're doing. So the, I'm now on the PUBG website and they say, hello players, we are sharing the banned players list for the past week. So remember this, this is a week. Oh, to raise awareness about the abuse of illegal software and the consequences of misconduct. So this is the investigation period of 2024-0304 to 2024-0310. So that is just in one week. Click here for the full list of the permanently banned accounts. I will not gonna do it. We're going to this graph. So here you can see 69,778 people got banned in just one week time, right? 
About 7,000 got banned for team killing. Okay, about 1,355 got banned for teaming. I don't know what teaming is. I've never played PUBG. I'm just aware of these statistics. I, I got no idea. And abusing is 9,554. And I'm guessing that is just calling people bad names in chat. Yeah, abuse, right? 60,537 accounts got banned in just one week. And they published these stats to show the people like, listen, you can cheat, but in the end, you're gonna get banned. Now, why can't Team 17 do something like this? Why can't they be honest with the statistics? Are there just no cheaters in the in the game in Hell Let Loose? Well, we just saw they were. And, and I've seen that guy, that cheater, he was playing for 130 minutes. He he had no problems and if you if you again if you're not gonna get banned in one and a half hours time you're never gonna get banned but it would be very good to give transparency to all players and have like a weekly ban list just like this and say listen uh we caught five thousand players um, cheating uh there are a total of i don't know fifty thousand players five percent was cheating and we banned them all and this is the consequence you're gonna be have right learn from this don't cheat first of all you're gonna get you're downloading software from china you're downloading software from russia it's gonna have a virus in it it's gonna have all kinds of nasty stuff because you're dealing in essence you're dealing with criminals that's what you're doing i think team 17 should have something like this just to give transparency so let me know in the comment section how you feel about it should team 17 post these kind of statistics and um i think they should don't forget to like and subscribe join us on our discord and follow me on twitter all the links are in the description my name is burning wiki and i will see you all next time